Morning class 5th here is Kaushalya Rajprohit your english teacher and today we are going to discuss chapter 2 subject and predicate so what is a subject in a sentence the name of a person place or thing that we speak about is the subject right so the person about whom the sentence is talking or the place or a thing right so the name of a person place or thing which we talk about is the subject of the sentence now what is predicate in a sentence what is spoken about the subject is the predicate right so whatever we tell about our subject in our sentence that is predicate now to understand subject and predicate properly let us take one example shivani at her food now here the sentence is talking about shivani right so shivani is my subject subject may be be of one or more words right subject is a noun or a pronoun now what is shivani doing she at her food right so at her food is predicate predicate includes the verb how to identify subject and predicate now in any given sentence how will you identify the subject and predicate so there are some steps if we follow them we can easily find out the subject and predicate now step 1 find the verb in the sentence right so first of all look for the verb in the sentence S step 2 ask a question adding who or what before verb right step 3 answer obtained is the subject step 4 and the remaining part will be predicate so if you have a sentence then first of all look for the verb in the sentence then ask a question adding who and what to the verb and whatever answer you get that answer will be the subject and the remaining part including the verb will be predicate so let us practice time now here is an example aeroplane flies high in the air now what is the verb now what are verbs verbs are action words so here the action word is flies so who flies in the air aeroplane right so the answer is aeroplane so aeroplane will be my subject and the remaining part flies high in the air will be the predicate let us take one more example John plays snakes and ladder. So, what is the verb? Plays. Who plays? John. So, John will be the subject, and the remaining part is the predicate. Got it? It's very simple. Let us take one more example. The teacher asked the question. Right? Now, what is the verb in this sentence? Tell me, class. Yes, ask. Now, who asked? teacher so teacher will be the subject and the remaining part is predicate yes ask the question will be predicate fourth example uncle pal bought some sweets so what is the verb here bought so who bought sweets uncle pal so uncle pal is my subject and the remaining part bought some sweets is the predicate very good now la and amy went to the beach now here the verb is went so who went to the beach angela and amy so here you can see that my subject have more than one word right angela and amy it is my subject and the remaining part went to the beach is my predicate got it so is a person or thing who does the action is called subject right and subject may be noun or pronoun the rest of the part including the verb is called predicate okay so a sentence can be divided into two parts subject and predicate subject is the person place or thing who is performing the action or about whom the sentence is talking and the remaining part including the verb is the predicate got it bachcha
So now let us see how to find out subject in imperative sentences. Read the following sentences. First, finish your food, run fast, go to bed. Now here, how will you find out the subject? Now the sentence, if we speak finish your food, actually means you finish your food. Similarly, run fast, you run fast and go to bed, you go to bed. So here, in such imperative sentences, the subject of an imperative sentence is you, which is understood, right? So the subject of such imperative sentence is will is you subject in interrogative sentence read the following sentences has the train arrived is mikey unwell are the boys playing now here in the first sentence i am asking about the train right so the train will be the subject second i am asking about mike is mikey unwell so mikey is my subject Third, are the boys playing? I am asking about the boys and hence the boys will be the subject. In interrogative sentences, the subject comes after helping verbs, right? Like has, is, are, are the helping verbs and after helping verb we have the train, Mikey and the boys, okay? Activity time. Underline the subject in the following interrogative sentences. Are you going on the picnic? Now, I am asking about you. So, you will be my subject. Is Priya the best dancer in the class? I am asking about Priya. So, Priya is my subject. Has Madhu finished her work? So, who will be the subject? Madhu. Yes. When are you shifting to USA? I am asking about you, I am asking the question to you. So, you will be my subject. So, I hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.